ants. To many of us, these backyard pests are nothing more than a nuisance. But not to Milton Levine. I love ants. Made me a living for 36 years and put three of my kids through college. Wonderful. <laughs> In 1956, Milton found gold in them there ant hills with his Uncle Milton's ant farm. But few realize when they buy one of these toys that one crucial element is missing. Hey, there's no ants in here. The ants. They must be ordered by mail. Before the pesky little critters can be shipped, they must be harvested from desert colonies found in Southern California. Now we stake out uh, quite a few acres in the desert where it's uh, dry and so on, and there are ants there by the millions. One ant hill contains about 15,000 ants, so we have no problem getting them. We'll never be out of ants. Today, Uncle Milton's ant farms have provided millions of homes throughout the world with a unique glimpse into the life cycle of ants. And for many, lessons in life. When you see the ants in the ant farm, it's a cycle of life. You see them living and working and digging and, and eating and all that stuff. And eventually they die, it's a complete cycle. It doesn't hurt a kid to know how to work and be industrious and obedient. Uh, it's, it's a civilization that you see inside that little unit. So we've contributed to society, I think, in a small way. 